Hey guys, welcome to another eBay sales update video. These are 10 items that I recently sold on eBay. Just to give you an idea of items that you can find that you can uh, resell for profit on eBay. And uh, just to basically show you some of the things that I have personally sold on my account. So I just want to start this off here with this interesting uh, jacket. This is a brand obviously you should know about Lacoste. This is a uh, 2XL. And, you know, generally with these bigger sizes, they tend to really sell, like, exceptionally quick and for a lot of money. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, this one, it just took forever. And I don't know why, but it did. I mean, it was in really good condition. I ended up selling it for $65. And as you can see here, I just called it uh, Army Green, Moss Green, uh, you know, full zip, long sleeve uh, jacket. And... This was kind of interesting. It had like a, a metal Lacoste logo on it. So I thought that was pretty cool, as you can see there. But I uh, sold this for $65. So either way, we're making good money on it. But, you know, size 2XL, you'd think you'd get a little bit more than that for it. Next item I want to show you guys is this Pronto Uomo Platinum Silk Blend Window Pane Tan or Beige Blazer. And this is a size 52 long, which really helped it to sell. It actually had a hole in it but I was still able to sell it for $40 with free shipping. And I got to say, I mean, I keep saying it again and again, the bigger sizes, they tend to sell really well. This might have been the only one that was a size 52L uh, on eBay that was a uh, two-button uh, with window pane pattern. I mean, you just never know. But, I mean, I, I do know if it's a bigger size, then there's going to be a lot less competition. So... You know, I sold it with a hole for $40, so just something to think about. If you have a big size coat or a big size blazer or maybe a big shirt, it's okay if it has a hole in it. Maybe you still might get some really good money for it. Next item here I want to show you is this Alexander Lloyd, and I do pretty well with this brand, particularly the bigger ones. This is a 52R. Uh, this one in particular I sold for $45. I took a best offer. And this is a um, really interesting pattern here. It's kind of hard to describe. I said it was houndstooth, but, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, maybe if, if you look at this and you say, um, is that houndstooth? I'm not sure. So if you, if you can come up with a different way to describe this, let me know. I'd appreciate it. But uh, I said houndstooth. It kind of looks like that. I sold that one for 45 and that was pretty good profit on that one, I thought. This Brooks Brothers here is a size 46L, and I think that this and I think that this picture kind of covers everything you need to see right there. And um, we sold this one for 49.95, excellent condition, appears gently worn. This thing did look like it was in excellent condition, so I sold it for 49.95, and that's a pretty decent profit. And just to give you an idea, on these blazers, I tend to pay about ten dollars at most for Brooks Brothers. Uh, or a Ralph Lauren, probably $5 for any of the lesser brands like the Pronto Uomo, the Alexander Lloyd, um, you know, anything of that sort where it's just a lesser brand because I'm generally not going to get as much for it. Unless it's a bigger size, then I might pay up a little bit because I know it's going to sell. The next item here was a uh, new without tags Ralph Lauren, uh, you know, dark navy blue uh, Glen Plaid style. And this is a really nice, basically perfect condition. That's why I sold it new with new without tags. It actually had one tag still attached, but, um, you know, it wasn't, uh, it didn't have like the, all of the tags attached. So I just said new without tags and, um, you know, it was perfect condition. The guy was very happy to get it. Um, he sold it for sixty nine ninety five. I mean, that's a great return on investment if I, if I spend $10 for it. Right. So, um, some of, some of these items take a little while to sell, but like I said, I'll pay up to $10 for one of these. And if it's new with tags, I'll probably pay a little bit more, but, um, new without tags. Yeah. You know, um, you're going to make some good money on those. Just uh, you got to wait. You got to understand, hey, it might take a little while to sell this, but you just got to be patient. Don't be selling these things for 20 bucks with free shipping. That's just craziness. And I see it all the time. Just you got to be patient if you're going to sell these. And if you're not going to be patient, then just don't even try selling them. Here's an Austin Reed Scotland. This was actually woven in Scotland, which I think is, um, is, is a great selling point for it, definitely. I mean, it's kind of... I don't know if I'd necessarily use the word vintage. I guess it probably is like late 80s, maybe early 90s, if I had to guess. But as you can see here, it's woven in Scotland, so it's not just some piece of junk or whatever. I mean, this is a high, this is an interesting high-quality uh, sport coat here. And just look at the pattern, right? It's uh, it's interesting. The guy who got this is, you know, he bought it for a reason because he didn't want this uh, navy blue type thing. He wants something kind of unique that's going to stand out a little bit. 
So I was able to sell this for forty nine ninety five. If this was just like a navy colored one or it's just something a little bit more plain, it probably would have sold for maybe forty. Something like this, I'm a little bit more confident in spending a little bit more for it because it is like I said, woven in Scotland, it's just, it adds a little bit more something to it. I took a best offer on this sport coat for uh, $65. It's a Lord & Taylor camel hair, glen plaid, uh, gray eh, sport coat. And this was a size 44. Uh, did pretty well on this one, I thought. It's not like a crazy brand, but it is. it certainly is pretty good. Uh, in this case, I thought this one was really nice. It was in excellent condition. And again, the person who got it was very happy. I haven't really been getting any complaints at all when it comes to uh, grading. And I think that's because I really take my time to make sure that I'm, you know, describing things accurately and just looking for, for problems. Because that's one thing. If you're going to sell these, people want a high-quality product. They don't want some junk that's got stains and rips and holes in it. And if you do have some sort of an issue uh, in the condition, you got to be make sure that you don't try to hide any of that. That's a big mistake that a lot of people make. So I think I did pretty well on this one. Next item here, and this is a, finally a shirt, a nice Brooks Brothers non-iron logo. And I'll tell you what, if you have one of these, and especially if it's a bigger size like a 2XL, I can't see selling these for less than $35. I mean, look, $34.95. This one was in excellent condition, um, no flaws, just $35, boom, sold, done. Um, the non-iron shirts do really well, and the Brooks Brothers non-iron with the logo on it, sell for a lot more. Um, so I'm certainly willing to pay up a little bit more for these, but um, you know, it's it, you can't be selling these things for 20 bucks. I mean, you're gonna get good money for this if you just wait for it. Uh, I try to stay away from the ones that are just very plain looking. I mean, if if it has an interesting design like this, it's gonna go for a lot more money. This was one that I didn't really have high expectations for, but the reason I picked it up was because it, I got it for cheap. It was like five bucks. And because it has the, the nice leather buttons there. People really like those. I ended up selling this Hunt Valley uh, sport coat for $39.95 with free shipping. I really don't like to sell any sort of blazer or sport coat for less than $39.95. Maybe $35 is about as low as I'll really go. And uh, the interesting thing about this one was it's a uh, 38 short. So it's, you know, bits a bit of a smaller size. So, um, you know, someone out there, they wanted a, a 38 short with leather buttons, and uh, they found it. So it was a great sale. Here's uh, our Menegildo Zegna. Sold this one for $80. It's a really nice window pane design pattern, as you can see. And I sold this one, like I said, for $80. That was a really good profit on this. I paid at most $20 for this. I mean, I will pay 20 bucks for a Zegna in excellent condition, no doubt about it, because I know... You can sell it for 80 bucks, maybe 100 bucks. I recently sold one of these for $100. It's a great brand, and there's just no reason to be, you know, blowing this out for for 30 or 40. You will get, you know, 80 and up if you're patient, but you got to be patient. You got to take good photos of it, and you got just got to realize, hey, you know, this is a long tail item. It's going to take time to sell. Do not be selling these things for so cheap. I mean, I see these it just makes me just crazy when I see these prices. Because this something like this is like you know thousand eight hundred dollars new you know and people who are used to this brand they they know all about it they really understand what brand it is they're willing to pay up for this brand all right guys that wraps it up here uh, just wanted to show you these items and uh, just have a little discussion about them if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up share it with someone if you think that they will enjoy it also make sure if you haven't already to subscribe for more videos. And of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you have any questions about this video? Last thing I just want to remind you guys to do, make sure to check out the Facebook group Resellers Roundtable and also my Facebook uh, fan page, Picking Profits. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll talk to you soon.